So for those of you guys that have a Samsung RF4287 HARS, here is the problem with the loud noise that you're getting. When you get into the freezer compartment here, there's a shroud or a cover over your uh, evaporator condenser. And back in the corner over here, there's ice that builds up. And the ice builds up and it actually hits the fan that sits right here and it spins along there making a loud noise. So what you gotta do is, there's two screws, it's pretty simple. There's a screw back over here on the left and there's a screw back over here on the right. You just remove those screws. <clears throat> it's gonna take time for some of the ice to, to thaw out before you can actually get the shroud off. Um, and when you do, don't just grab it and pull it because there's electrical connections right back in the back over here. Let's see if I can get my finger in there. Two electrical connections that, that connect up back over here. And those are these two right here on the back of the unit. So there's also some, some foam around the edges over here uh, that you'll see that you want it to all come off and you don't want it to separate. So you got to be patient. Uh, it took me about 30 minutes to, uh, to get it apart and wait for it to thaw out. Of course, I used a, a hairdryer on low and just went up underneath the shroud, uh, the cover where the fan motor is here and just gently thawed that out until it until it just fell off. Once it fell off, I had, of course, a lot of ice around the, the fan right here and then it was just hitting it. So, um, now the big thing is to get the ice off there, uh, to get the, the cables reconnected back over here and just make sure my fan motor is not out. Um, that could, of course, have happened just because I've been letting it sit for uh, on and off for a year, just unplugging it and letting it make the noise over and over again. Now, hopefully, we're going to figure out how to get this to... Uh, to, to not freeze up on that line right there and that'll be the big question of the day so anyway hope this helps you guys out uh, block knock the block of ice off and I'm sure there's other posts that can be linked to this one that can actually tell you exactly uh, what the final fix is to keep the ice from from forming up on the top there um, thanks hope you guys have a great day hope this helped